Hi, beautiful soul. Um, listen, I gotta be honest with you. You see your questions here. When people ask questions like that, right, the cards kind of call them out on some stuff. So I like to say it before the cards do, and I gotta tell you something. This is what you said, honey. Whether I would meet my expectations and whether things were going well. Sweetie, you if you have expectations of yourself, you're gonna meet them. You hold on to a lot, hun. You can't meet your expectations when you're holding on to stuff and doubting yourself so much. So let's see what if there's something you can do to get out of it. Because you don't want to be sitting up at night thinking about stuff that freaks you out. Or like that you did something wrong in situations. I'm going to ask what you should do, okay? Ooh. Look at this. Of course you can meet your expectations. Are things going well? I'm not sure. Because I don't think that holding on to things is going to help you. But I really honestly believe this came out because this is where you're going to get to. And look at this. It's the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords. And look at the difference in the people, right? This person's free. They're coming to peace. you got to come to peace. All these things that, that, you know, you think about too much and you wish you could go back and change, you can't. All you can do is learn from them, see, and be at peace. So, yeah, you can totally meet your expectations 100% because you can get to that state of mind. Are things, whether things are going well, I don't think that this is helping, but I think you can get out of it. And I think, yeah, they will go well. Hi, sweet person, sweet soul, gifted, I feel. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I'm feeling like, and this is kind of the theme today for some of the readings, you have control over your life right now. Um, I said this today and I said this the other day. You have taken control of things that you used to let control you. And I feel like the reason why I want to say that is because that's definitely, you know, shifted your... I feel like you, you're going to understand what I'm saying. That has shifted your vibration into finding like like your twin flame if they haven't seen you already they're drawn to you do you know what i mean there's going to be a part two but i feel that i really feel that please let me know if i'm wrong i like to know when i'm wrong the hanged man is this you i think this is them i think this is them and the knight of pentacles came out too but i think that they're trying to make a decision right now um, I really honestly feel like you guys are manifesting each other. Um, I don't know if you met or maybe you have, but I feel like it's going to be a surprise. Like, it's like more than the usual type of, oh, I'm surprised that I'm like so attracted to whoever. Like, it's going to be like a huge surprise. But you're both, this fell out, you're both walking away from stuff and... Like you're successful because of it, you know? And you, know, you guys know what you want to do. You're doing what you love, you know? Ooh. Even, even if, like, if you're not doing what you love, you're about to be doing what you love. This came out. Yeah, the two of wands. I think you guys are manifesting each other. I think you're... I think you have a lot of clarity and this person doesn't. I'm going to do part three. You know what I was just thinking? Um, Because I was... At first, I'm like, I can't give like a time and I was feeling kind of like about it because this is cute but now I'm thinking maybe it's just a matter of this person making a decision maybe or you might the surprise feels like it's like some big reveal yeah this person um doesn't they look sometimes when I see this I notice the knees touching and other times I notice the person that's broken free from stuff I think this person is trying to decide if they pick good partners or not. Oh, I just heard that in my head. And that's why they're hanging. So I think once they realize that, no, they haven't in the past, um, they're going to be drawn to you. I'm going to do another part so I can explain this because the time's already running out. You're beautiful. Thank you. So I feel like 
like I feel like you know what you deserve. I feel like this person is about to learn what they deserve. I feel like like when I say that, let's do like this as a metaphor. That's you, right? You're not touching the past, but this person is still stuck, and I feel like they just really believe that they have they pick bad partners and they need to realize that yes they have picked bad partners but now that they know that they deserve better they know what they don't like what they they know what to look out for now um they're not going to do that anymore it's just a matter of them realizing how much they've learned and getting to the state of mind that i know you're at tell me if i'm wrong but i know you're in that state of mind so the second that this person realizes that the manifesting that's going on of wanting the correct partner, it's going to become stronger on their end. And I feel like they're being drawn to you by your vibrations. I feel like your vibrations are really calling out to them. Hello, beautiful soul. Does spirit have any messages for you? Hmm. I think that you've been seeing a lot of synchronicities. Let me know if I'm wrong. Ooh, four of pentacles. Ooh, ooh, queen of cups. Yeah, I think you've been seeing a lot of synchronicities, and I think uh, spirit has been nudging you to trust your intuition a little more. Um, maybe you know what's going to play on the radio, or it doesn't have to be that, but you know those kind of instances, or like you say something and then the TV says it, or stuff like that, and then you kind of know like, you're like, you, you're like, oh, so-and-so. I remember me and so-and-so and so -and -so did this, and then so-and-so texts or call you. I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. But I think Spirit's trying to tell you to tap into... Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Chaos a little bit. I'm here. What is this? What do we got going on over here? A lot of chaos and shit. People in your ear, I just heard. People in your ear. People are annoying you. Spirit is saying... <laughs> Spirit is saying Tell me if I'm wrong That people are trying to tell you what to do And you're kind of like Get the fuck out of here But it's causing a little bit of chaos in your life But I feel like a little bit And you're not necessarily saying it to them But you're kind of like Get the fuck out of here Get the fuck out of here Spirit, Spirit is I think Spirit is trying to tell me that you're En route to really following your path But you're pretty much on the right path right now Look at this <laughs> The ten of swords Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, you're just not paying any attention to it. Look, I mean, I'll do a part three. That's funny. Okay, so you're either already laughing in these people's faces, and I keep hearing backstab over and over again. You're either already laughing in these people's faces, or you're literally about to. Like, we're talking like, I just heard the number eight. So maybe like, eight days or maybe even eight weeks depending on how serious this is but like if you're not already doing it i heard the number eight um you are not you you're moving on from this uh like it's bullshit and spirit is loving it you have got wisdom now um you're you're developing tools to better your soul path um so you're definitely you know, they want you to know you're on the right path and you're going to be on your soul path. I just heard five to ten. Oh, and this says five to ten. I was going to say five to ten. I feel like in five to ten years, you'll definitely be on the, you're like your soul mission. So, yeah. I hope that resonates.